It's been a busy start for Guilford County Schools new superintendent. Dr. Whitney Oakley took over at the end of August. In her first 100 days, she held several community meetings, getting feedback to improve the school district. WFMY News 2's Lauren Coleman sat down with Dr. Oakley to get the three biggest takeaways from these sessions. Creating a strong bond between families, schools, and the community is a top priority for Guilford County School Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley. I have been spending a lot of time putting my ear to the ground and listening to all kinds of people in our community about what they want to see prioritized, what they're compelled by, and just spending a lot of time getting feedback. During her first 100 days, Dr. Oakley met with more than 2,000 people from various groups in Guilford County. These meetings were all a part of her Better Together community conversations. The goal? To increase communication and transparency. We know that strong communities have strong schools, and so I think making sure that we engage all these different groups and continue to do so, not just once, but to come back and say, how's it going, what's working, what's not working, is some of the most important work we can do. Parents, teachers, business owners, and faith leaders were among some of those who had their voices heard. Dr. Oakley says increased support for students following the COVID-19 pandemic school closures was top of mind for many. I think it's also important to remember that our black and Hispanic students fell behind the furthest during remote learning. And I think employees and community members have found that very compelling when we talk about what the data looks like and what learning recovery looks like. The school district says learning recovery efforts expanded by increasing the number of students tutored by 398% this year compared to last fall. GCS has also seen a 115% increase in students attending learning hubs. And they're starting to pay off. It's going to take some time, but we heard loud and clear that our community believes in these learning acceleration efforts and wants to see them continue. I want to keep going until every student that needs a tutor has a tutor. What did they say they wanted to see prioritized? Yeah, one of the biggest pieces of feedback that we are hearing is this rise in mental health issues and the need for more mental health supports in our schools, not just for our students, but also for our adults and our staff members and our teachers. Dr. Oakley says she's listening. In October, she launched on-demand mental health support for students and recently added staff to those services. Nearly a thousand people have already taken advantage of the program. There's just a lot of trauma that people are, are still facing and it plays out at, you know, our schools are this microcosm of our communities. And so when things happen outside of school, sometimes they surface themselves inside of school. And for our students, we have to offer them the supports that they need. Increased school safety was also a popular theme that emerged from the community conversations. Based on this feedback, Dr. Oakley tells me she hosted the district's first safety summit with students and deployed over 12 new school safety strategies. There are fights in schools and athletic events, um, behavioral incidents in the classroom. We're doing things, I mean, we implemented the scanners at the high schools, the mental health supports that just launched over the past few weeks. Uh, we've also made sure that we are having conversations with our law enforcement partners about community-wide solutions. What would you say is the number one issue that needs to be addressed when it comes to our schools today? It's really tricky to pick one. I mean, our, I really do think our core business is um, academics. And so I think making sure that students have the skills and the tools that they need, that we offer an education that makes them ready to enter the world, right? We, that we think about graduation um, as an opportunity and, and think about what we want our workforce here in Guilford County to look like. She says building up our future workforce is not only going to take the work of our schools, but partnerships with local businesses to offer workforce development. Building a strong professional culture where teachers and staff feel supported and appreciated, as well as increasing intentionality to involve parents.
When this story airs, what do you want our viewers to be able to take home with them? I really believe in Guilford County Schools, and I think the power of public education is the only thing that can change the world. And more than 20 years in public education, I think there is not a more critical time than right now. Our students are depending on us. Our community wants to help. We, they need us to, to press forward. Dr. Oakley is offering two more sessions in the new year. The next one is January 18th at Allen J. Prep in High Point. The other one is on January 24th at Dudley High School in Greensboro.